Hello and welcome to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Welcome back and if you're new here then welcome. Now uh, in this video just a quick one from me today but I just want to show you uh, some tools I've made for Blender and I'm releasing them as an extension. Um, Take Refuge 3D modeling tools. Um, it's free for now. Um, as I add to it it might get bigger and then I might charge money for it. I do spend time on these things. Some pretty basic tools but some stuff that can really speed up your workflow. Now I've been using these for a while and now the first one is Dissolve Edge Loop. So we'll just go into edit mode. So the normal way that you would dissolve an edge loop is you would go to select, select loops, edge loops, press X and then hit edge loops and then that would dissolve an edge loop. If you just select a single edge and dissolve edge loops it just dissolves that one edge there. So we'll just look at that happen in real time. It's also under the edge menu and you can find it here under dissolve edge loops. Okay so that's pretty straightforward and simple but you know if you control shift plus a big ring of loops uh, edges like that then you can just simply dissolve the edge loops like so and that is a really um, nice way of reducing your topology quickly with less clicks so um, there you go the other tool is origin to selection so you can see that that's grayed out right here now so this is like a um, it should really be under the set origin menu but I couldn't put it there so um, it's up here so if you select everything and you've got an active object you can go origin to selection it's going to put everything to the center of the object based on what's selected in edit mode so if we go into edit mode and then we just select one face and then we can maybe um, select similar by perimeter so all of these faces are selected here um, we can then either go back into object mode and go origin to selection and it's going to select all of these and put them to that face there um, or in edit mode we can go under the vertex edge or face menu and it's right there at the bottom so you can actually do this from edit mode as well and why is this handy because now we've got all of these individual objects here and we could go to something like randomize transform and we could wiggle it around scale even even and there you go so um, that's just something that you know as opposed to um, our normal in uh, object mode our normal set origin geometry to origin origin to geometry it's just another way of doing this um, and it's based on what's selected in object mode so let's say I select this face that face this face that face this face and go back and we can go object origin to selection you're going to notice that it goes to where all we uh, put those so um, just a different way of doing it not using the 3d cursor um, and look that's about it um, the gumroad page is up you can download it and you can just simply download this and drag and drop it directly into the blender viewport and it will be automatically installed um, it is free but uh, if you want to add a donation please do I do spend time on this and I'll leave it all there at that and I'll see you guys in my next video tschüss